Hey guys! So, as a lot of you know, I was in New York City for Fashion Week and I got to go to the Boy Meets Girl and Just Dance fashion show, which was super fun because there was lots of cool clothing, a performance from Austin Mahone, and we also got to play the game and, in my case, watch people play the game because I'm a terrible dancer. And since there's an Ariana Grande avatar in this game, I thought it would be really fun to do an Ariana inspired look because I think she has a super cute style so let's jump into everything so I already have my base and concealer on and I use the Jouer Matte Moisture Tint and the M by Michelle Phan, the great cover-up concealer. And I just pat this underneath my eyes to brighten things up and to cover up those dark circles. To set everything, I'm using my Maybelline Dream Matte Powder and I just love this stuff. I recently went back to using it and it is amazing. It's really light, it doesn't look cakey, and it just keeps your face shine free. Then to fill in my brows, I'm using my Honest Anastasia Brow Powder in Brunette and just filling in the brows here to define them a little bit more. And then look what I got! A new clear mascara so I don't have a gross brow gel anymore. So thank you to everybody who reminded me to get a new one. You guys are just freaking awesome. And then as always, using my NARS eyeshadow primer as a base because I have super oily eyelids. And then on top of that, I'm using Max Painterly Paint Pot. This is just gonna be a nice base for the eyeshadows that we put over the top. Speaking of eyeshadow, we're gonna be using this Sonia Kashuk Perfectly Neutral Palette. And we're gonna start off with the top right brownish color. So this just goes all over the lid to create a really natural look. And then in the crease, we're gonna be using the darkest brown color and just placing that in the outer corner and the crease and blending it all together. And this is perfect to recreate Ariana's look because she has a pretty natural and neutral eye makeup look so it's nothing too dark or crazy. Then I'm just taking a little bit of that same brown color and putting it on my lower lash line. Then just doing some extra blending here to make sure everything is nice and seamless. For eyeliner, I'm using the Rimmel Scandalized Waterproof Cold Kajal, and this is just the black liner, and I'm using this to tight line my eyes. Now instead of lining your waterline, I'm gonna show you a little trick that I learned from my friend Tanya. So you just close your eyes and kind of press them together a little bit, and you'll see that the liner transfers down, and then you can just clean up any smudges. Then it's time to curl those lashes because we're gonna be using fake lashes later, and curling your lashes actually helps the false ones stay up. Next, I'm using the Revlon Lash Potion Waterproof Mascara, and can we just take a second and appreciate this packaging, because it is amazing. So I'm just coating my lashes with this. And then I'm coming back with the eyeliner and just lightly lining my upper lash line to kind of give myself a guide for the fake eyelashes. And I'm going to be using the Katy Perry Oh Honey lashes. So I'm just putting these on to give myself those amazing lashes that Ariana has. She always has really long, amazing looking eyelashes. And then to recreate her glow, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Blush and Bronzer Duo. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that blush and I'm not going to use very much because she doesn't wear a ton of blush and I'm just blending it into the apples of my cheeks. To warm up my complexion a little bit, I'm just going to take some of that bronzer and go around the edges of my face. Ariana sometimes likes to wear a rosy lip color, so I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Lip Perfection Pencil in Beloved, and I'm just going to fill in my lips with this, and then I am going to follow up with one of the Jumbo Gloss Balms, and this one is in Rose Twist, so it's going to add a little bit of moisture and some extra color, and I'm just putting this on top of that lip pencil. So this is the finished makeup look, and now moving on into the outfit. I found this dress at Urban Outfitters, which is so pretty and is really similar in silhouette to the dresses that Ariana likes to wear. And then I noticed that she wore a floral ring once, and I actually have a bracelet from Forever 21 that looks a lot like it. And then on my nails, I am wearing Mod About You from OPI. Then I just threw on some nude heels, and that pretty much completes the look. So I hope you you guys enjoyed my Ariana Grande inspired tutorial and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!